Hello everyone, it's Jess here again from nadjezza.blogspot.com and I'm here with a little tip about a new stamp set that's coming out in the new Autumn Winter catalogue on the 1st of September and it's called Painted Harvest um, and it's got um, a really lovely uh, two-step uh, flower um, which yeah, it could be a sunflower, it can be any flower and I'm going to show you um, over the next coming videos um, some different ways that I've used um, this this stamp but what I wanted to draw your attention to is the the sentiments which because Stamping Up's an American company and they celebrate Thanksgiving that some of these uh, are more um, towards that sort of market not really helpful for us in the UK but your kindness uh, means so much more than you will ever know. We could use that for somebody that you want to say thank you to. I'm thankful for you. You could use that. Gather together and give thanks. Mm, maybe we could use that at Christmas to a family member that's that, that's coming round. But I didn't think they were great. But um, by masking, we can actually get thank you and thanks. So I was just going to show you a quick tip on how to do that. So I've mounted um, the two stamps um, on, on, on my block and this one is the one that says gather together and give thanks. So we just want the thanks at the end. So if you take a post-it note and you stick your post-it note, because it's difficult to see because it's um, photopolymer, but if you get to the word, where's my sticky bit there? Get to the word thanks and stick your post-it note on. Then get your ink pad. Got my scrap that I'm going to stamp onto. So, oh, I've moved it, making sure that that is in place. Ink it up. And then take away the post-it note. So the only bit that's got ink on is the thanks. And then you can just stamp a teeny tiny thanks. Like so. Is that in focus? There, so you get a nice little thanks. So that one's straightforward and easy. The other one is slightly more problematic because you want to take two, um, you want two bits out of it. So you need a bit of washi tape. Move that to one side before I stick myself in it. So I've got some old washi tape. I think this was free from a magazine. So we want to get rid of, I don't know if you can see, we want to get rid of the I am there. So with your washi tape, that needs to be, I'll just cut it. It's a jagged edge, don't work, it needs to be straight for these purposes. So I'm sticking that over the eye, stick that down, another piece then to go over the am, oh do you know, do you have this problem when you're doing wrapping at Christmas, you can never find the end, there we go, so a wee bit there to take off the am. And then post it again to go from the full bit. So now all you've got is thank. Ink it up and then take off your bits. And then stamp. Thank. So 
so you've got a nice thank there and then what is best to do is to give it a clean um, when I did it in practice because I didn't actually properly clean the thank bit that did actually um, stamp out there so that's nice and clean so now we just want the teeny tiny U, oops, U at the end. So take our post it. We should be able to get rid of everything. Bar the U with the post it. Ink it up. And then that's just take it away the U that's got the ink on and then you decide what I did I did it next to it and then I thought actually it might be quite nice to go underneath like so so that gives you a nice little thank you could do it next to it if you wanted to so you've got thanks and you've got thank you from the not so great for the UK sayings out of here. You can do that, of course, with any um, sentiment um, that you might have uh, by, by masking with post-its and washi tape. Okay, hope you like that tip. I'll be back again with a card very soon.